The business itself has been open for eight years now, just a little bit over. And there are four athletic therapists, four physios, three massage therapists, Dr. McLean, so one physician, and then we have the part-time consultants for sport nutrition and sport psychology. Sports medicine meaning interdisciplinary, where you'll see massage and physician services, physio, you know, all together. Basically, we're offering a service not only through our interdisciplinary team, but through the athletic therapists that we have working clinically here, um, that normally those athletic therapy services are only offered or available to professional athletes um, or college or university athletes. We've even had some ex-pros uh, come in here and go, oh, an athletic therapist, yay, only because that's just what they're used to, right? Sometimes people don't even attend the clinic. They don't come for services because they see the name sports medicine and think that, well, I'm not an athlete, so I can't go there. People walk their dog for an hour a day, you know, they'll easily walk five to seven hours a week and and you know it's maybe not an athlete from their own perspective, but from ours it is. And to try to get everybody to understand that yes, this is what our maybe our specialty is, but to deal with, with activity at any level is is definitely our, our game. Sedentary people, um, when I say sedentary, I mean that they just sometimes they, their pain has caused them to not be able to be active. It's just, a, you know, there's too many reasons why that's the cause. And so to try to get them moving and, and incorporate exercise into their routine often can break that chronic pain cycle. We've grown, you know, tremendously, like usually, you know, eight or nine percent growth per year is a nice growth, and we've been probably growing more like 12 percent or so. Last year we saw somewhere around 8,500 patient visits, and this year uh, we're on track for over 11,000, so I don't want to grow up too fast. The biggest thing is to be able to maintain our, our philosophy of patient education. 